Welcome back. Uh, yeah, start of the week again. Pretty cold. The sun was shining this morning, but it's got pretty cold and miserable. Um, we're after lunch. Uh, so we marked another mob of lambs this morning. Uh, so two to go now. Uh, so I've just come down <coughs> with the mulcher, actually. So just going to see how it goes. Um, it's not... Probably won't fly into the uh, corn stubbles or the rice stubbles. Actually, the rice stubble after the rain is quite wet. Um, the ground to travel on, so I was in there on Saturday or a couple of days ago with the buggy, actually, and I got a bit of shock how wet it was. So uh, we might have missed the boat with it unless it uh, stays dry, which we don't really want it to. Um, we sort of want it to keep raining now if we can, but we'll just sort of come down onto the new block where we've got these bull rushes and uh, just see what it did here. Looks as though the little bit I've done, it looks as though it's going to work alright, so um, we'll get, we've got a patch here that's got quite, it's quite bad, so we'll uh, yeah, see how it goes and I'll, um, I'll probably get Brendan to come down and hop on it. Um, Sarah's away uh, for a few days, so uh, I've got kids as well, so kids actually had our eldest is sick, so I had to go to slip into town and pick her up, so she's home, home on her own at the moment, so, um, but she's old enough to be able to do that, so that's fine. Uh, Tony's just floating around, we're just sort of getting a bit of stuff cleaned up and back under cover. Um, we've still got a bit of barley seed left that we've got um, oh, 10 or 13 hectares, a little block that I'm thinking we might just run it out on there just to get rid of it rather than having it in the um, shed for the for the critters to eat. Um, yeah, so we'll probably do that later, probably Thursday I reckon. Um, it's just it's the top end of where, the corn, where we had the corn this year, so uh, you're yeah, we're gonna we'll bring those lamb, using lambs in tomorrow. They are talking a shower rain again Wednesday, but we'll just see. But we'll have the using lambs off there on on in a couple of days' time if I can get it out. Uh, yeah, and and then yeah, we'll probably just spray that little block and, and sow it, and that'll clean the barley seed up out of the road. So anyway, this thing, if you haven't seen it, um, you can see the fan. Got the fans running there. So it's, I think it's 35 foot wide or 10 and a half metres. Uh, yeah, so we'll just see it goes in here. The little bit I did, it did quite a good job. So um, we'll get it fired it up and get it rolling, see how it goes. So we're rolling. It's taking a bit of swinging because it's so cold and the bull rushes are so tough, but you can see how sort of thick they are. And then, yeah, what we're sort of getting afterwards. Traveling very quick either. We're sort of back to five and a half k's roughly. Um, just talking to one of the guys that usually hires us this morning, like when they're doing, he's doing his wheat stubble with it, and it's something we're going to look at doing. Um, but yeah, he's doing about 15 to 16 k's. And we're yeah, flat out doing six here. So uh, anyway, bull rush, bull rushes have got a pretty big crown as well, which doesn't help. Um, but yeah, hopefully uh, we just want to get them down on the ground like we are and then we'll give it give it a bit of time and um, let them dry out a bit and then we'll hopefully burn it and then we can we can start and develop this block as well. So the plan is here, we'll uh, try and get this into flood base, um, border check flood base and uh, yeah, we'll uh, put corn in here in the summer. We need more power. We need more power. Whether you can see the road is spinning, I'll be a bit careful here because I'll just send Brendan up and I'm going to stand behind it because stuff will come out at a fair rate of knots. You can see, it's done a, doing a good job though. Radio's running at 1,000 RPM.
show you the bull rush here. We can see what it's doing. It's we can get that on the ground and then we'll we'll be able to burn it then. But it's bull rush has got quite a quite a thick crown in it, so it just sort of tends to grow on goes on um, you know heavier country, heavier soil country. Some here we haven't cut out properly, but you can see how big the crown is in it. So yeah, the plan is we'll sort of try and burn this in a few days and then we'll come in and, and disc it up. So that's the plan anyway. But yeah, it'll be a slow process. All right, nearly knock off time. I've just come out. Uh, it's probably it's a bit darker than what the camera's showing, but yeah, just come out, gonna run the ewes and lambs in for marking in the morning. So just show, save half an hour in the morning. Uh, and yeah, like this morning, I've done the same. Uh, yes, well, yes afternoon um, with the mob we did this morning and you know we were Tom we got out here and started drafting we were you know marking lambs one nine o'clock so um, yeah we did 230 odd this morning so these are the this will be the last of the singles mob so there was only <coughs> only two singles mobs so uh, yeah it, uh, and then we've just got one twin mob at home that we'll do I think I did mention mention they're talking a bit of rain so we'll We'll get them in tomorrow night and get them undercover for Wednesday. So, um, but yeah, these ones will we, we'll stay in this paddock now just to change the scenery and fresh paddock. There isn't a heap of feed on the ground. Um, yeah, so but anyway, we'll still still continue to feed. But uh, yeah, just just a fresh paddock and and uh, yeah, change the scenery for them. Sit, 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 sit down. Sit! last year's silage here he's just running out while he's out here that uh, he brought the I don't know if you can see that just brought the chaser bin out 
um, to stick in the shed out here, out of the weather now that we've finished with it. Uh, I've just come out to grab the buggy. I have had it out here. Um, yeah, getting running the sheep in out here. Just yeah, a bit easier when you got lambs and that sort of stuff. So got one more mob left to do at home, which we'll do tomorrow. Uh, quite cold today. It's bitter, to be honest with you. Um, so I've got my trying to keep my feet warm. Um, yeah, so. Uh, but yeah, another 200 and it's funny, we've done the two mobs out here, similar number ewes, similar number yeah, lambs. I think there was one lamb, I think we did 231 yesterday and we've done 230 today. So, um, and a similar number mobs of ewes. So, anyway, uh, so yeah, Tony's just home. We've got just pulling the induction hopper off the boom spray actually because we're back. I don't know what's how it happened, but back at sewing time, it, the fitting on the bottom of it had been busted off, and now we're getting set up to do in crop spraying. Um, yeah, we um, yeah we need it for, for it's a lot easier than having using the big induction hopper um, batching sort of little batching unit we've got. So he's just doing that, um, and then yeah we'll get this big mulcher going again. I need to do a bit of book work, but I'll just see how we're going um, this afternoon. Um, so yeah, no, nah, but it's yeah we're slowly taking the lambs off. We'll get the last mob done tomorrow, and that'll be them out of the road then. So <laughs> we've had a bit of a development. We've been a bit fortunate down here that we don't have too many feral animals. Um, yeah, giving us issues. Foxes are about the worst of it. But we've just come across this bloke. So Brendan was just on his way out and he's, uh, yeah, come across this boar, piggy. So we've just dispatched him. Um, he's just actually in a neighbour's not far from home, so I'm just going to drag him off the paddock for him. But they're having hell's own trouble with these guys up north, uh, northern New South Wales, and even not that far from here. But to date, we haven't had a lot of, haven't had any trouble with these, these. So uh, yeah, it's not uh, something we want to see because they cause all sorts of bloody carnage. So anyway. We've, uh, that's one less, but we're not too sure what's going on. He was heading north, he's coming, whether he's come, can work his way out. The river's quite ro low at the moment, so whether they're working their way down the forest and across the river, I don't know. Um, but yeah, we'll, uh, got rid of him anyway. So, uh, yeah, I'll get him off and then go and get some sheep in. Running out of daylight here, we've got a couple of stragglers on board. Hello, yeah. metal. the envelope with the daylight. Got all five doggos on the job. Even the little one, not that you can see them. <laughs> Hopefully, we've got them just here at the yards now, so uh, yeah, should be job done with a bit of luck. Hopefully they run in all right. Wake up. Wake up. Here, wake up. there in the end, I didn't quite want to go in, but anyway, pushing, pushing the limits a little bit with the, with the daylight, anyway. Morning! Gloomy yet, it won't be a very good spray day if you were spraying, anyway. Uh, yeah, last mob of lambs, we'll uh, get them drafted up and get into them. Lemo 
packing's all done. So just had to have a bit of an add up here so I could tell you what, what's what. So we had about roughly 1,250 ewes and we've marked 1,590 lambs. So uh, yeah, it's whatever that percentage works out to be. Um, I haven't actually worked that out, but yeah, um, pretty good result. Uh, one thing I did notice, <coughs> just the mob we marked today have been on the corn stubble. Now they have dropped a lot of condition, which I was a bit shocked at, and the lambs are a bit the same. So um, we've put them out on the grazing canola out the front. We're just gonna run them in and off of that for a few days till they get the hang of it. Um, yeah, I thought there might've been more of a pick out on that corn stubble than um, what there's, there's been, so anyway. So Tony's done Meals on Wheels. Uh, Brendan's, we're just selling the last of that barley out. Um, so he's on the air seater. And I'm just here, just cleaning the, gonna take the division out of the truck. So I've pulled the rubber strips out and all the bolts and that. Uh, one thing we didn't do and should have done, but there's a bit, a little bit of furt left in the uh, back of the, in the corners of the tipper here. So I'm just gonna, yeah, tip the truck up um, and I just must have just hit that with a bucket, that's helpful. Um, yeah, tip this truck up and, and we're gonna have a bit of MAP left over, so we'll we'll get it spread out as well. Um, yeah, and then we will just I'll just chuck it. We'll get the spreader. I wanna do a bit of start and do a bit of top dressing. I'm just trying to push those crops about a bit. Um, so yeah, we'll have the spreader on the big tractor next week probably and and uh, yeah, um, I can chuck this bit of MAP that's left over. There'll be a couple of ton probably. Um, with what's in the air cedar and yeah we'll just chuck it out on a bit of loose and just to give it a bit of a kick so uh yeah we're getting up we'll get this tipped up and cleaned out About a bucket full left. Yeah, that's all right. A bit of grain in it won't matter because it's only going to go out in pasture anyway. Yeah, we'll get this sort of cleaned out and get that um, tube out. And yeah, then we can pull the division out. Oh no, uh, day's about done. Uh, getting some pretty skies at the moment. A bit of pink there in the background. So, yeah, um, guys have knocked off. Um, Tony's actually off for uh, about 10 days. Um, yeah, he's just having a whole quick holiday. Um, well, not a quick holiday, but yeah, having 10 days off, he's gonna head up, see his parents. They're up in Northern New South Wales, so he's gonna duck up there. Uh, we've got the truck washed out, um, the vision out, okay, Chops. So Chops is, he's, uh, he had the treatment today with the t with a couple of rings, so. Um, but yeah, he's happy enough. He's been following me around. Jesse, shush, trying to make a video. Uh, yeah, so got the division out. Uh, so it's a truck ready for the next job. Uh, Brendan finished selling the barley. He does still have a bit, a bit of barley left in the in the air cedar, so we'll just get it out and put it in a bulk of bags, no biggie. Um, so Matt, our agronomist, he, he's been out um, and had a bit of a look around, so the jam canola needs spraying, but it's not um, not a super big priority at the moment. Um, what he is more leaning towards is um, top dressing everything, so getting some urea, getting some urea nitrogen across everything. So I was sort of sitting on the fence, you know, 75 kilos to the hectare, and he's talking 150, he's talking twice that, he's talking 150 kilos to the hectare. He said, look, the crops will, he said, we won't lose it now. Um, when I say lose it, we, you don't get any of that denitrification or the volatilization where it disappears into the atmosphere because of the, the temperatures dropped um, and we've got moisture. So, uh, so yeah, so he's sort of like, get into it. We're trying the crops of, you know, and I was thinking the same, the crops are behind. There's another cha weather change coming middle of the next week. So we're just like, yeah, well, I was gonna sort of do it, but I probably wasn't gonna go that hard. And he said, look, if it gets happens to get wet and then you can't get on, um, 
to do it, well then you're, you're sort of hamstringing yourself. So we've done our deep end tests and with the deep ends, we've, we've got an idea of, you know, how much nitrogen we need to apply for sort of our target yields. So um, we've got that that information. So it's just a case now of, you know, trying to pull the trigger. So we've got, we've got 70 tonne of urea here on hand. So I'll just need to sit down and work that out, but that should be plenty to do everything, um, which will be good. So. Um, and then, yeah, you know, if by chance it doesn't rain or something at the back end, well, we don't, you know, we won't, we won't keep applying it, but, um, at the back end of the season, but anyway, we'll just see. So, uh, yeah, so we are ticking a few jobs off. So, uh, Brendan's also away next week too. He's going up to see his young bloke. He's, he's on a property up in New South Wales. So he's going to go up and see him as well next week. So I'll be here on Pat Malone. So, which, uh, yeah, which is which is good because I won't have to worry about um, staff, but it's probably also good for you guys because I can cut a camera around with me all the time and uh, and yeah, why not? Don't have to worry about staff not wanting to be in videos and that, and that sort of thing. So anyway, uh, hopefully the landmarking one was a good one. Um, we did all the last couple, um, but yeah, it's good to get them out of the road and uh, and yeah, tick that job off the list. So uh, all right, uh, thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time. Ta da.